a blue alert can be a respiratory or cardiac arrest, or it can be the patient may be unresponsive. Code situations are always scary. They're always adrenaline's racing, you never know what's going to happen. You don't really have time to think. And a lot of times the pressure and the environment and the intensity of the situation won't let you think. The Blue Alert Sims Lab, I think, is the most beneficial to any floor because when you go one or two times and you get to see it and see how it's ran, you just feel so much at ease. Even just getting exposed to the situation before it happens is valuable in itself. Within my first two weeks of starting my third year at OSF, I encountered a code blue situation. I was comfortable enough that I noticed that someone was struggling with chest compressions and I offered to help and I started doing them well enough that they asked me to stay and I just kept uh, giving chest compressions until the code was over. After the simulation, a couple days later, we had a patient. We were in her room when her daughter suddenly um, started to cease and turned blue. I think that simulation benefited me a lot and just being confident that yes, a code should be called in the situation and just reacting quickly. It really helped me feel like I knew what to expect, like I didn't feel out of place. I felt like I belonged and like I was supposed to be helping with that situation. Simulation is great in the sense that there's no pressure. Codes in real life are fast paced and you don't have time to think about anything, but in simulation, you can stop, you can take a breath and be like, okay, here's what I should have done. Here's what I think I did wrong, but the person will be like, um, Okay, there's no mistakes. What you did is how you would react. And that's okay, this is how we learn. The value behind it is that it allows those passive learners to become active learners. It allows them to at least be exposed to scenarios that make them more comfortable if that scenario or situation was to happen in real life. I feel like even if I were to read through a Code Blue situation and try to understand everything just based on reading it, it's not the same as being in a situation where you have to just act and you don't really have time to think back to what you know. The simulation is learning and doing. When you are immersed in this sim, you, it feels so realistic and you forget that you're acting or role playing. You actually get into the scenario and, uh, and really do truly feel that this plastic mannequin is a real patient. I think the one thing that I learned from simulation is that communication is the key to everything. Communication can be like a bridgeway to getting the best kind of care. Debriefing is the most important part of the simulation process because this is where it allows different clinicians to speak their point of view and it allows everyone to reflect on uh, things that went well, things we could have done differently. It sounds kind of strange to say in a code situation that it's almost a feeling of calmness, but you do. And I mean, we did CPR, we intubated, we gave meds, and we got the patient back. And I think the code maybe lasted 12 minutes and transferred the patient right away to ICU. It was no chaos. I'm not aware of any other simulator that would allow you to simulate a helicopter landing and bringing the patient in the doors, an ambulance rushing up to the emergency room or the trauma bay, the doors blowing open and you're pulling the simulated patient out. So in my opinion, it's the total package for a simulator uh, because it is simulating from the moment the patient arrives to your institution. This simulation lab has been wonderful. I think it's tremendously has changed the outcome in patients. In the last year that I've done the crisis role, Almost every single blue alert has been successful that I have actually transferred them to an ICU. I really think the outcomes are 100% better.